Sometimes in life it feels like the worst people get away with their misdeeds scot-free. But that's not always true. In fact, I can prove to you that every now and then, the universe serves up heaping portions of justice perfectly suited to the worst people. So stay tuned and get your fixings of super satisfying times karma came for awful people. Dashcam Doofus In 2018, a Florida man's attempt to clear his name in the eyes of the law had the opposite effect. After he was involved in a car crash, Xavier Moran sent his dashcam footage into the police to prove the other car had cut him off, causing the accident. However, on reviewing the files, the sheriff's deputy found some even juicier footage the dashcam had captured earlier. The footage showed Moran breaking into a beauty store and burglarizing the place. He'd had no idea the camera had been rolling, but that didn't matter. Thanks to his self-submitted evidence, he pinned himself to a totally unrelated crime. Policing doesn't get much easier than that. Mugshot Madness At the start of 2018, the founders of Mugshots.com were living it up on the profits of their business. Their company based itself around downloading mugshots of people from police websites before the police permanently deleted the images. They'd then upload the mugshots to Mugshots.com and turn them into cash. How? Well, having your mugshot online can make things like finding employment pretty tricky. So, the people whose photos were featured on Mugshots.com would be forced to pay high fees for the website to remove the pics. This worked well for the founders for a while, until the authorities clocked onto the scheme, which was, of course, extortion. The founders were arrested, and in a delightfully suitable turn of events, their mugshots were posted and shared online for all to see. Short Path of Impatience one of the most satisfying things a driver can experience is seeing an overly impatient motorist get their comeuppance. That satisfaction was undoubtedly savored by the dash cam owner in this clip, which shows a couple of self-serving motorists take a shortcut up the wrong side of the road. Their attempts to skip the traffic don't get them far though, as they're soon seen backing it up. <laughs> what follows is a comically long stream of motorcycle riding police officers who look none too happy with the traffic jumpers. All aboard the Karma Convoy. Puck Luck. This next story comes from Reddit user Arnold Bog, who unintentionally delivered a dose of karma to his sister on a childhood trip to Montreal. Having bought a hockey puck as a souvenir, Arnold Bog was understandably annoyed to find his sister had hidden it somewhere in their hotel room to tease him. Without the patience for diplomatic inquiries, he burst into a fit of rage and whacked his sister around the head with a pillow to get some answers. He got the answers he needed, and his sister got some nasty bruises. Because where had she hidden the puck? Inside the pillowcase. Tantrum Tumble This next video was captured at an iron stomach eating and drinking contest, where the contestants have to consume as much of the disgusting concoctions on offer as possible. Among the offered items were warm beer, cat food, salt water, cottage cheese, and cold gravy, among plenty other options and various combinations. The rules were simple. Consume as much as possible, and if you vomit, you lose. There was even a trough dug out to catch puke and leftovers. After reaching his limit, the fellow in the clip angrily throws his cup away and storms off in a sore loser's tantrum, before slipping over straight into the trough. Coated in liquids too foul to describe, he tries and fails to escape, facing utter humiliation. Next time, Mr. Grumpy, eat your cat food with a smile. Playtime's over. In 2018, the security guard at a 7-Eleven in Gardena, California spotted two suspicious hooded figures walking into the store and proceeding to rob the cashier at gunpoint. Fearing for the cashier's life, the security guard stormed in and shot both robbers before calling the cops. While neither of the robbers were seriously injured, the cops were surprised to find upon their arrival that the gun-toting robber's weapon was actually a non-functional replica. In jail, the amateur criminals would have plenty of time to reflect on the dangers of bringing a toy to a gunfight. Hearts full of fear. Even putting the terrors he inflicted upon millions of people aside, life as someone working closely with Joseph Stalin was one of constant fear of imprisonment or execution. For example, in 1951, a Soviet doctor recommended that Stalin work less and rest more for the good of his health. That doctor was promptly arrested and charged as a spy, suspected of trying to undermine Stalin's authority. With this kind of ultra-suspicious, paranoid treatment waiting for anyone who questioned the strength and well-being of the communist leader, it's not surprising that doctors were afraid to treat Stalin. 
When Stalin failed to appear from his chambers one morning, so the story goes, his staff and physicians were too fearful to enter and check on him without his permission. By the time someone finally did, he'd been lying on the floor for hours, having suffered a stroke. When doctors were finally called in, hands shaking with fear, making diagnosis difficult, the stroke's effects had already worsened. The dictator died soon afterwards, urine soaked from his loss of bladder control and a suitably undignified end for a man with so much blood on his hands. His paranoia and love of persecution ultimately cost him his life. Bovine Comedy Being mean to animals is often the mark of a psychopath, but in this next clip, it's the mark of an idiot who meets with a suitable punishment. I'm not sure what this guy expected. If he was trying to move the bovine beast, with the immense weight cows have, he'd probably have more luck kicking a car. Despite plummeting into a creek, the man survived, as did the cow, but I somehow doubt they went on to become besties. Hot Diggity Dog In 2017, Karma struck a robber extremely hard in a very sensitive place. When the criminal demanded money at gunpoint at a hot dog fast food joint in Chicago, the serving staff accidentally spilled the store's cash onto the floor. While bending down to pocket the loot, the robber placed his pistol into his waistband and, having gathered enough cash, began to run away. As he did so, however, the pistol suddenly went off. Injured, he had no choice but to sit and wait for an ambulance to come. I don't blame him for stopping, though, because that hot dog thief had managed to shoot himself directly in the wiener. Despite his unfortunate injury, the court didn't have much sympathy, and he went straight from hospital to jail. Parting Gift When Reddit user Nico12995 was driving along one day, his heart skipped a beat when he noticed a car pulling out of a junction dangerously close up ahead. So he slammed on the brakes and prepared for the worst. There was a bang, but Nico's car seemed relatively unscathed. He pulled a U-turn, hoping to exchange details with the other driver, only to see the guilty party speeding off down the road. Upon inspecting the damage to his own car, Nico noticed something had been wedged into his door. With a little force, he bent the object back, revealing it to be the number plate of the hit and runner. Slowly, it began to make sense. When the other car had pulled out, Nico's car had grazed the front, picking up the number plate as he went. Needless to say, tracking down the dangerous driver became a lot easier with that handy bit of unexpected evidence. Street Relief If you ever feel a desperate need to relieve yourself in public, you should always keep an eye out for the 5-0. What you definitely shouldn't do is take a leak on a police vehicle. But the drunken man in this clip not only turns a cop car into a DIY urinal, he does it right in front of the policeman. Whether or not he's making a dumb, edgy statement, he fails to spot the officer on his rapid approach. He's just finishing up when he spots the policeman and attempts an escape. It goes just about as well as you'd expect. Hopefully a night in a cell will teach him that making a quick getaway kinda depends on you not being too drunk to run. Hoes don't care. The only thing more annoying than someone who thinks they're above the parking rules everyone else has to follow is someone whose awful parking makes emergency workers' jobs more difficult. Luckily, firefighters occasionally get the chance to teach problematic parkers a valuable lesson when their illegal parking blocks access to fire hydrants. When the need arises, firefighters will connect their fire hose to the hydrant by any means necessary. And if that means going through the car, so be it. A couple of smash windows are a small price to pay for potentially risking lives for selfishness, though I doubt the car owners usually see it that way. Still, I'll bet it's super satisfying for the firefighters to let off a little steam with a totally justified window smashing. The Simple Six If you're going to make the awful decision to steal from a store, you should probably, at the very least, make sure you've got a reliable way out afterwards. But six rookie criminals from Cincinnati, Ohio, forgot this golden rule when they attempted to load their backpacks with stolen goods from a dollar store in 2018. Of course, the fact that they'd chosen a dollar store as their target already says all you need to know about their professionalism as thieves. But their incompetence also extended to their getaway vehicle, which refused to start once they'd left the store. With the thieves stuck trying desperately and unsuccessfully to get their car working, witnesses had plenty of time to note their appearances, which were later fed back to the police. By the end of the day, all six had been arrested. For a lesson on how not to be a criminal, look no further than Cincinnati's Simple Six. Corona Party 
In March 2020, when lockdown measures were being introduced to slow the spread of COVID-19, one group of friends attempted to prove that all the fuss was nonsense. Believing the virus posed no real risk, these brain cell deficient buddies from Kentucky decided to throw a coronavirus party in defiance of self-isolation recommendations. With no regard for social distancing, the group partied the day away. But little did they know, karma was lurking on the horizon. A few days after the party, news reports emerged that proved their arrogant ideas wrong in the most spectacular way. It turned out at least one of the party's attendees had contracted coronavirus. All of a sudden, all those safety guidelines seemed a little less ridiculous. While the confirmed case did unfortunately make each party goer a potential infection threat to anyone they encountered, they couldn't have been proven wrong in a more fitting way. covid -iot. When there's a global pandemic underway, if you're actively choosing to disregard the views of medical professionals, you're not just a danger to yourself. You're also a danger to whoever you come into contact with. So in May 2020, when Florida man Brian Lee Hitchens began spouting off on social media about how the coronavirus was a fake crisis, his dangerous stupidity began to spread. But before Brian's followers were able to fully take his ramblings on board, he was forced to publicly retract his statements when he and his wife both caught coronavirus. Whoopsie. While they both survived the infection, several days of treatment in hospital were more than enough for Brian to encourage his followers to take things a little more seriously. While the U-turn was certainly a good thing, it shouldn't have taken Karma's twisted sense of humor for this fellow to stop being a total COVID idiot. The lesson, don't be like Brian, be smart and stay safe out there. Do you have any crazy instant Karma tales of your own to share? Send them across to karma at bmaze.com and I may feature yours with a shout out next time. Thanks for watching.